thank you dr anath for taking out time to talk to us uh, my pleasure it's been a pleasure for me and for all of our section to have started under you uh, so for our viewers dr anath pereira he's a teacher uh, in portugal and he uh, teaches at isct uh, and he's come all the way from portugal to imt gazebat to uh, teaches bmi that's business model innovation mm -hmm. and this is not his first stint at imt gazebat he's been a regular in uh, faculty exchange program so we have a few of questions arranged for you. so like can we start with the can we start with the interview yes of course please okay. uh, so how has your experience of uh, teaching at I imt gazebat been and what drives you towards the faculty exchange program every year so it was a very good experience uh, last year so it was my first time um, in india first time in asia too okay so it uh, somehow is different from what we have so the first big difference is the size of the classes okay so each section is uh, maybe two and a half times bigger than we have there so it was it has been a challenge to just manage the you know the process and uh, making sure that uh, you can still relate with the students and have a good interaction and um, because um, i mean i have been so uh, so welcomed here and uh, you know all the uh, the IRC and and the stuff have been so helpful to me i thought it was a good idea to to come back again um eventually we will, i i mean with more insight to to bring to also to the students and so i believe that we are uh, moving forward with uh, our exchange and you know collaboration program so if everything goes well i'll be i'll keep on coming so i'm really happy about it okay. Uh, anything special that you find in Indian students and the system that we follow, the education system that we follow? I think the Indian students are, I mean, the, India is a fast-growing country, so you see that there is a lot of excitement, you know, among students. Um, it's not like in Europe, which I believe it's on the, it's on the other side of of the cycle, so students are much more, you know careful and uh, maybe they are fearing a little bit the future so here students are very positive and so it is very interesting because all you know the debates in in class and during you know all the interactions we having together are, are much more exciting so that's why that's why i think it's there's a big difference there okay uh, so regarding business model innovation the subject that you taught us uh, what are your views about it and its importance in the curriculum of uh, every b school mm. So it is very important because, uh, you know, um, in the old days, people were just called to understand what was going on inside businesses. So they would have to fit in and somehow, you know, uh, repeat the routines and be very good on repeating and repeating the routines. But nowadays things have completely changed. So now people are called actually to not to repeat, but to, to revamp and somehow to reinvent the, the, the way business should be developed. So I think it is important that students have an insight about how to rethink, uh, you know, how to rethink the way business have been conducted so far. And um, the, this is not something that you can get from other traditional subjects like marketing or strategic management or even finance. So you need uh, a new set of, 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 um, of courses, of subjects to, to, to do that. So I think it's very important that, you know, students have you know some type of of interaction with a new a different way of of thinking that's what the general field of entrepreneurship and innovation brings to the b schools uh, so uh, any of your valuable insights for people who want to pursue business after finishing mba i think that like being entrepreneurs you yeah, know being entrepreneurs, yeah. yes i i say that of course you should think about it i say that maybe a first experience like uh, three to five years in, in businesses will be helpful. Um, if you have a very good idea and you think that you will be uh, losing your, your window of opportunity by, by taking a job, of course, move immediately to your opportunity. You will find a way of getting experienced people to help you manage the business. But if you don't have something that is quite urgent, I believe that uh, an, a f an initial experience will be very positive. You need network to develop a business. You need uh, experience, you need uh, insight, and uh, of course you need some maturity too. So uh, a first good experience will be a leverage for any uh, entrepreneurial venture. 
so one last question uh, how do you perceive india's uh, economy pers- uh, presently and what do you think is india's strength so that it like you know progresses in the right way mm. so i think india's uh, strengths are actually the, uh, the 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 human resources you know the the educational system despite the criticism that i have uh, that i got from your individual assignments I think that when compared to countries facing the same type of challenges India is doing much better. So both the amount of of people available to 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 work and at the same time the level of preparation they have will actually uh, I mean this is quite an insurance for for the future of of India. So what I think that India lacks still it maybe it's some type of focus we have discussed this too. So not so many companies are completely focused on the right direction which is international market going abroad being competitive you know don't fearing you know the the going to the jungle and fighting you know the big the big beasts so that's that's what maybe some companies do so because it's so easy to develop a software for example much uh, much businesses are only uh, interested on you know establishing a, an agreement with some good contractor outside and just working under that direction so this means that you will lose 50% at least of the value uh, in the process so if you don't take the, the lead and if you don't go to the market and develop your own products because you have the abilities to do that you will never get you know the other chunk of value that will be a leverage for you know the next generations so that's what i think it still like some maybe it's ambition i don't know uh, Unfortunately I didn't have the time to travel in India yet so it's a very big country and I've been here in this uh, NCR region so it's not good enough to understand the whole country I believe but I think that maybe somehow there is some lack of ambition people uh, it's easy for them to develop a, a piece of software so they work as a contractor for the rest of their days so it's not um, I think we need to do the next step you know you need to go and take the lead that's that's what I would advise people to do okay uh, all right thank you for the interview and thank you very much forward to see you again at okay. Indigas, thank you very much and good luck for your assignments future assignments okay thank okay thank you sir thank you